Hello guys, Salvador here. Today we will take a look on an open source engine for Cosmo Cosmic Adventure. A classic Apoki game from the early 90s. If you'd like to know a bit more about the history of uh, Apogee of his successor Freedom Limbs, check the HBit Guide YouTube channel because he has an amazing video about that. Cosmo Cosmic Adventure is a 1992 game from Apogee and like many old games, it didn't get all uh, too well, especially firmware wise. While the open source engine uh, that I will show you uh, for Cosmo Cosmic Adventure uh, didn't fix that so far, the developer had plans to, to increase the frame rate on next development uh, with other enhancements uh, too. So uh, stay tuned to this project because uh, it will probably get better over time and it, it is probably that the developer uh, will support uh, other games with this same engine and under load. So I am on the Raspberry Pi. Uh, I have um, the shareware version of the of the game because the game it is not abandonware. Uh, if you check the GitHub repo of the, this guy of the the Cosmo engine developer, uh, it needs uh, free dependencies. So we install them. I, I have already installed them. So they are lib stl dash mixer dash dev and lib stl two dev dash dev. Uh, and if you don't have CMake, so do install CMake. So they are really uh, not uh, complex dependencies, and the the engine it is. Uh, simple. It compiles extremely quickly because it is a simple engine. So we clone the, the repo, we go inside the folder, we make a build directory, directory and we go inside them and We invoke CMake and then we make with the four cores. I will not uh, put any CPU flag because the game it is too la lightweight to justify uh, doing more optimizations. You can make sudo make install, but I will not do that. So I have here my copy, my shareware copy of uh, of the game, and I will go to to build and I will paste, paste everything here. You don't need every file, but I will do it just to make it quickly. So you can launch uh, just double clicking, but I will use the terminal to use it on, on full screen. And yes, the, the game is perfectly fine, probably on 4K. <laughs> I don't think it will create any trouble. Uh, I would like also, uh, to improve the, the frame rate of the game, uh, but also some kind of filter. I am not, uh, and uh, I don't have any problem with filters, and I, I would like some kind of filter uh, available, especially uh, XBRC. I don't know how I don't know how to pronounce that uh, filter. So uh, the game also support. Uh, a lot of uh, gamepads. You, you just need to copy this from from data and go to build and paste uh, the text txt file here, and I will pair my gamepad. There it is, and I will launch it again, and the, the gamepad will be automatically uh, run. So yeah, th this game uh, was a, a lot for me uh, back in the day, and I would like to to see uh, that uh, trend improvement uh, over time because it will be really uh, 
cool to, to have it running on 60 FPS. That will be uh, much better because right now it is like the like the old Cosmo. So that's all guys, hope you like the video. Um, if you uh, like this game, try to support this, the developer.